here is the important question on alternator why alternator rating is in kva or mva and from this discussion you will come to know why power factor of alternator is to be specified or mentioned along with its rating that is if suppose 2.2 MVA is specified then along with that power factor is to be specified on the nameplate details and the answer to this question is similar to that of transformer but there is a little difference if suppose this is a machine and input is given and let us consider output so output will be less than input and output will be less than input because of losses present in that machine and these power losses are dissipated in the form of heat and AC machines rating is determined by their heating and this heating is due to losses in that machine so losses will determine the rating of alternator and the major losses which are present in AC machine are iron losses and copper losses and from the losses topic it is discussed that iron losses depends on voltage and copper loss depends on current so losses are directly proportional to product of voltage and current and these losses are independent of load power factor if losses are dependent on load power factor then we must write losses is directly proportional to product of voltage and current into power factor and which will represent the real power because real power p is equal to vi cos phi therefore the rating of machine must be in terms of kilowatts but as losses are independent of power factor so losses is directly proportional to v into i where v is having units volts and i is having units amperes so rating of alternator is in va or kva or mva here k is small letter which is termed as kilo and is equal to 10 cube and from the transformer topic we discussed that the transformer losses are independent of power factor and that we discussed because of due to input power factor is equal to output power factor that is load power factor but from alternator case it is different now let's see that on named details of alternator it will be specified like 2.2 MVA at 0.9 lakh power factor which means that particular alternator is designed to operate at 09 power factor at rated load if suppose that particular alternator is operated at 0.8 power factor then what will happen means alternator will drag more field current if alternator draws more field current then field copper losses will increase and if that particular alternator is operated at 0 0.75 power factor like then again that machine will drag even more field current which implies more field copper losses and more heating which is not suggested which implies field copper loss are directly proportional to load power factor and that implies losses are directly proportional to product of voltage current and power factor as VA cos phi represents real power and which is having units kilowatts which means the rating of machine must be in terms of kilowatts and if the alternator rating is specified in kilowatts which means the losses are dependent on power factor if losses depends on power factor then field copper losses will increase if field copper losses increase heating will increase which is not suggested so we must make the field copper losses independent of load power factor and what we must do for that we must fix the power factor so if we fix the power factor which means power factor is constant means losses are directly proportional to only v into i 
therefore now rating of alternator will be in MVA if you fix the power factor and from the nameplate details you must note that alternator must be operated at particular load power factor at rated load so if alternator is operated at specified load power factor then the heating in the machine will be within limits which we can say that field copper loss are independent of load power factor if suppose if the designer didn't specify the load power factor then what will happen means the operator might operate the load at different power factors if we operate the alternator at different load power factors then alternator will drag more field current and copper losses will increase and because of which heating will be increased enormously and that might cause damage to the alternator which is not suggested so to limit the heating in alternator within limits operator must be compelled to operate the alternator at a particular load power factor so is why designer will specify based on which operator will operate the alternator only at that particular load power factor so is why along with the rating power factor is to be mentioned in nameplate details on alternator whereas from the case of transformer whatever may be the load their losses are independent of power factor because primary power factor is equal to secondary power factor but in case of alternator to make the losses independent of load power factor you must operate the load at a particular specified power factor that is you must fix the load power factor so is why designer will fix the load power factor according to which operator will operate the alternator at that particular load power factor so if the alternator maintains that particular load power factor then losses will be independent of power factor if he operates the alternator at other than the load power factor then losses will be proportional to power factor because of which heating will be increased and because of which alternator might get damaged so in case of alternator power factor is to be fixed and that is to be mentioned on the nameplate details along with the rating of alternator.